frozen to the bone There's darkness in your soul Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to do a special episode. I thought since it's Venom Week, the movie's out, and we are hunting for symbiotes now. There are more symbiotes out there in the world, and I want to hunt some down in this box of Marvel Annual, which just released, I think, about two weeks ago or something like that, or a week and a half ago. And this box has been delayed. We've been waiting for it, waiting for it. Then there was an error with the order, and there was a whole bunch of things. But we have this hobby box, and we also have some blaster boxes coming in. And Blue is hunting for some Moon Knight characters in this. So if we get a couple of those, that's great. We'll put them aside for him. But he can hunt for those with some of his blaster boxes that are coming in. And if he wants to record them and share them with us, that's great. If not, that's on him. I wanted to do something on the Venom vlog with trading cards since we haven't really done that. And uh, this is just a cool set to do it with because there's some insert cards that focus on the Summer of Symbiotes and some of the characters that have recently got symbiotes like Black Widow, some of them are getting their debut cards for the first time. Right before the license with Upper Deck actually expires and we have a new line of cards coming out next year from Tops and Fanatics and that is going to be the new Marvel line moving forward. But this is really cool because I like the annual sets. I've seen some from the past. We got some Moon Knight cards for blue in those. And I thought, well, let's just do it. Let's hunt down some of these Summer of Symbiote cards. Let's get Flexo. Let's try to get some of these guys and let's make it a Venom Vlog episode. So this is our first box. If we get another box in, that might go on the Seek a Night show because we're obviously running out of episodes for our Venom Vlog. But I wanted to dedicate one to this because this is one of our newer hobbies, which is trading card collecting. And then now we have a box that we have a good shot at getting at least a couple symbiotes in. So I feel like that's worth making a Venom Vlog episode out of it. So thank you for being here. If you haven't watched any of the trading card content, this is how it works. We got two cameras so you can see me and you can see my reaction to stuff as we find and pull things. And we got a seal there. Boom. Okay, good. It was a quick piece of tape. There are 16 packs in this box and check that out. Art from the Venomverse on the pack. So of course, you know, this had to be a Venom Vlog episode. So we got a pack of four there. Put them over there. We got another pack of four. We'll pop there. And we're going to keep them in this order. And that's the order we're going to open them on. So I don't know all the pack odds, all the details of this set. I just knew that there was some symbiote cards, some dark web cards. And this is basically covering the last year of Marvel Comics all wrapped up in one trading card series. So it does have a focus on Sins of Sinister. Um, and then also some are symbiotes and the dark web storyline, among other things. So let's go ahead and find out what awaits us. Pack one. Here we go. Let's get some magic going through this whole thing. Um, I've seen a couple of videos of these, just like in parts, and I've liked what I've seen so far. The art looks good. They pull from the comics, and it looks really sharp. They got some great images on the card that I've seen. Each pack has five cards in them, and these retail for about 90 bucks for a, a hobby box and about 20 to $25 for a blaster box, which I think the blaster boxes are a really good deal because you get six packs in them, and that's 30 cards for 20 to 25 bucks. That's a really good deal. So, um, but there are some inserts you won't be able to get in those blaster boxes. So you will be sacrificing a chance at a couple of, you know, bigger cards that might be worth more. So, hey, let's start off with Electra. How awesome is that? That is great. What a great card, great artwork. All right. Hey, we got our first uh, insert. We have Sins of Sinister with Mystique. That's really good. I think that's Brett Booth's artwork too. Um, actually, let's look at the back of some of these. So they list the powers you know, and how the characters, their attributes and all that stuff, and then a little bit about them. That's cool. And then saying, let's check out this annual card. I think the third card or fourth card in the pack is the hit. So we'll try to hide that for a second. So yeah, this is Sin of Sinister number seven. That's really cool with Mystique. That is awesome. All right. Whoa, check that out. This is a black and white canvas card. That's nice with Domino. Great character. That is awesome. Yeah, really nice canvas. That's cool. So yeah, base card from the set. Has the attributes on the back, but it uh, has the black and white artwork. That'd be cool to score a Moon Knight one like this. I don't know how many of these are in a box, but that's really cool. I'm going to put that over there. I do have top loaders and stuff, but it's going to have be something that really catches my eye that I'm going to top load. Um, all right, Adam Warlock. Very cool. And... Meridian. Okay, cool. Sweet. 
So it's a nice mixture of Marvel characters in these annuals, um, in the annual sets, and that's good. It's always good to, you know, because when we did Midnight Suns, I love that because I got to talk about all the supernatural characters. Um, but it is sometimes just to talk about good and fun to talk about the greater Marvel universe, and also to kind of recap. We're gonna we're gonna get a recap here of the last year of Marvel comics. So um, if you've been enjoying a lot of the stuff in comics. Let me know some of your favorite storylines that you read this past year. Moon Knight is obviously ours. A lot of other books we kind of dropped off or fell out of interest in, but Moon Knight consistently has been a really fun book. The death stuff has kind of been mixed for me, I'll be honest with you, but I'll get into that in another episode. Oh, dude, check out Colossus. He looks awesome. Very, very cool. All right. Storm is our next card. Great. More X characters. I'm into that. We are trying to complete a base set of this, so you know that's why we're cool with getting pretty much any and every character. Uh, let's go to the back here, Doctor Stasis. He looks awesome too. I like the the coat. <laughs> a lot of colors there. He's got blue and red, and then together they make purple. Look at that, awesome. All right, and then our hit. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> the Maker. No way. What is this card? Is this a sticker? Back scatters. It looks like a stick. Oh, yeah, you could peel it. That is awesome. I don't know if we ever will, but, oh, dude, I am totally sleeving this. We are big fans of this character. Um, I love the Fantastic Four, but I really like Ultimate Evil Reed Richards. And everything he's been doing recently with setting up the new Ultimate Universe has been awesome. Um, I'm, oh, wow, that's cool. That's a great, for me at least, that's a cool card to grab. Because, like I said, I'm a big fan of this Reed. That's so cool. And then our last card, whoa, dude, we got a Wolvie. And look at that background. So again, it's a base, but it's some kind of variant. Silver Sparkle. That's awesome. I don't know if we have any Wolverine collectors out there that if you don't have this, you know, hit us up. I don't know how rare this is. It's not numbered, it looks like, but um, that's still a cool looking Wolvie card. And I like the artwork a lot. That's so cool. I like this. Um, Silver Sparkle. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll top load it just in case because... You know, Wolverine fans, they want their stuff mint. Any good collector does. So, yeah, we're going to save that. Boom. All right, pack number three. We're going to try to gain a little bit momentum, but this could just be a long episode. I may just have fun just dissecting these, which, uh, you know, we're already only two packs in, and I just love this stuff. I like appreciating the artwork, and I like, you know, just scoping out the cards and learning. So if there's anything I get wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, we got Psylocke here. That's awesome. I think that's Penance behind her. So this is that Avengers team, that Ultimate or Uncanny Avengers team with cap and stuff that's cool though i like that whoa star rookie jackpot of course uh yeah that's awesome though like uh, yeah that's a character we we kind of like uh, rail against a little bit sometimes but um nah, she's all right there's potential there i think with with this character um they just i feel like it's kind of like it's like carnage lately they just don't really know what to do with the character i feel um but uh, that is cool that is a star rookie card for jackpot so awesome uh, we're gonna save the hit we're going to go on to, hey, Hollow's Eve. So I'm keeping an eye out for these. If I get an extra, like two Hollow's Eves and two Chasms between the boxes we have coming in, I'm going to tuck them aside for our friend Randy, um, Venom Unleashed. He's a big fan of these characters. So we got one. If we get a second one, Randy, it's it's on the way. Uh, I'll send it to you. Um, very cool. I'll put that aside, though. And the last card here was Nomad. So that is cool. Another deep dig some people know who that character is but some don't <laughs> they haven't mcu'd them yet oh and this card you could probably have seen it back there idle alabaster um so that is another one of those canvas cards that's cool yeah i just realized it was sitting over here it's still on camera you could have seen it so uh yeah keen eyes already knew what this was so cool a nice variant there um we got that cool canvas style i love that canvas um we had a canvas card in the Marvel Masterpieces, like the, the Jumbo Joe Jesco ones, and that was really cool. I, I really dug that card, too. Um, I think it was the Thanos one. All right, hey, there, look at that. We got the base Wolverine now. Very cool. Base Wolverine, and his attributes on the back, card uh, 87 or 97. So he's up there. He usually is. They usually put him near the top. Um, all right, Eve Warlock. Cool, cool. Back card we'll go with. We got Loki. Awesome. Kind of like <laughs> like uh, just relaxing Loki. Like not in his armor or nothing like that. He's got the headpiece on, but yeah. All right, so we'll put Loki aside. And then we got, whoa, suspended animation. 
of Nimrod. That is awesome. Oh, it's numbered uh, 448 out of 699. And that is like a see-through acetate type card, but it's suspended animation, they call it. That is really cool. Any X-Men collectors out there? Um, if you've been, if you watched X-Men 97, you, you know, and it didn't know who Nimrod was before, it, you should, because he was on the original series, but he plays kind of a big part of the lineage of a character that was in this newest season of X-Men. So, uh, yeah, check out X-Men 97, great cartoon, but also read the comics, really great stuff in the comics as well, and that is some great artwork. So, cool numbered card there. Anybody looking for that, let us know. <gasps> okay, I'm so happy. I don't know which character it was, I didn't see that part, but... The hunt, at least right for right now, uh, hopefully we get more, is over. The whole reason opening this box, we were looking for symbiotes. And boom! We got one. And this is one from that recent Venomverse book. This is the priest. Um, that uh, So Venom Noir. But this is the, I believe he was a priest that became Venom. Um, I actually really kind of dug this short story. So Venom Noir, number 13. I don't remember how many of these Venom summer symbiote cards there are. But to get one... That's awesome. I'm hoping, you know, we get at least one more in this box, so it'll help justify this being a Venom vlog episode. But the fact that they're on every pack, you know, that's, I didn't realize that, so that's awesome. Um, so that already justifies it. But Finding Venom Noir is really cool. We did, I think, cover that story in one of our episodes where we talked about it, and I dug it. I thought it was a cool take on Venom in the Noir universe. So, all right, pack number five. Still got 12 packs left. Holy cow, we are... <laughs> we are we gotta start catching up i know some people don't like long episodes some do so you know bear with me i'll, I'll try to strike a, a middle ground we love stanton uh miss stanton that's cool that's toth all right whoa dude hollow's eve this is a dark web version of her that is epic that looks really cool it doesn't look like it's numbered so these are just the regular dark web cards. I, that's a they put a lot of detail in that. Look at that web, that gold web. That's awesome. Um, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know what yet. I'm you know gonna collect for the inserts. So I'll still put this aside. I don't know if I'll send this to you, Randy, unless I get a second one maybe. Because I don't know if I'm gonna complete the dark web set on my own either. But um, I'm thinking of you. Trust me. Every time I get one of these characters, uh, whether it's her or Chasm or you know, anyone else like that. I'm going to keep you in mind, bud. Um, all right, so let's uh, keep that those cards off. We have Misery. Dude, another symbiote. This is a base card, but we're hunting symbiote and symbiote characters, so I'm going to at least sleeve her um, because she is a symbiote, and that is awesome. So we got the Misery card. I do not know if this is her first ever trading card. I don't know. Uh, so someone can let me know down below uh, if it is, but... It's certainly our first Misery trading card that we own, so that is so cool. Um, we also have Kid Omega here. So, boom, and then we have our hit, or our middle card of the pack, which was... Dude, look at that! A numbered Venom card! Venom vlog, for sure! We nailed it! That's amazing! Card 197 out of 499. That is so cool. And that's Dylan Brock Venom. So this is, he's got the chains on him and stuff. This is the green parallel and it's numbered to $4.99. That is very good. That's a good hit um, for sure. Any Venom collectors out there trying to collect those? Because like I said, mainly we're just trying to get the base set and some of the insert sets. I don't always care about the parallels. I like finding stuff good home. So does Blue. So if anyone out there is interested in this Venom, hit us up. Um, you know, we'll, we'll look it up, see the prices. Uh, if you hit us up before we put on eBay, great. We'll try to work something out with you. But otherwise, you can expect to see that in our eBay store, I'm sure. I'll give it to Blue and he can figure out value and all that stuff for me or for us. Um, so, all right. I saw Hank McCoy in the back. So we definitely got a Beast card in here. We got X-23. I think she's getting Fastball Special, though, by Colossus. Looks like she's in the air there. That's cool. Um, we have Bucky Barnes. That is a great shot of him, too. Very cool. All right, let's go to the Beast card. Oh, that's a neat-looking Beast. He kind of went bad a little bit for a while there in the Wolverine comic uh, this past year. So they've done some interesting things with uh, good old Hank McCoy. Uh, really cool character. Now he's back, I think, being an X-Man and stuff. But, yeah, there was they were doing some neat stuff with him. 
Um, all right. Whoa, dude, we got another silver sparkle of Storm. Oh, we got a, something behind that. Um, that's awesome. Another character we love very dearly. Uh, and we have Silver Sparkle there of her. That's great. Yeah, we're big fans of Aurora Monroe. Um, all right, let's see what this hit is. We got Bucky, and then behind Bucky is... Ooh, Destroyer. This is a Captain America Cold War. So I don't really have any interest, and in Blue definitely doesn't, with uh, collecting a Captain America insert set. So if anyone out there is missing cards from Cold War, let us know. And anything that we pull, if you're interested in, Hit us up. Um, we'll put that aside for any collector out there um, that who wants those for sure. Not that we don't love Cap, we do, but we, you know, everyone has their own characters that they collect, and Cap's just not one of ours, even though we love the guy. Um, all right, so we got Sharon Carter, interesting mask on her, very cool. Oh, there's something behind there. Let's wait. Doctor Strange, awesome. Cool. Move that there. We got another base card of Iron Man who's surfing with a dog. That's awesome. <laughs> Great shot of the dog, too. That's just really cool. Oh, there's a canvas card and a hit. So, all right, let's see what these are. Let's start with the, the canvas card. Boom. Dude, we got Thor on the canvas. So these are pretty frequent. These are almost every other pack or every three packs, roughly. So uh, unless we're just pulling all of ours at the top of the box. But that's cool. Another cool variant tier one. Oh, so these are tiered. Interesting. Or what are the other ones then? Did I have, uh, are they all tier one? I think they are. Um, so Domino is, whoa, Domino's tier three. What makes her different? I don't know. I don't think anything other than just probably the character, like where they line up in the card numbering. So yeah, he's Thor's tier one. She's tier three. Okay. So cool. All right. Oh, and it's a symbiote hit. Boom! Jeff the Land Shark. Dude, we got Jeff. I actually saw someone pull this card, and that made me laugh. That's so cool that he has his own trading card uh, with that awesome artwork. That's so cool. So we're doing pretty good on symbiotes. I'm just going to sleeve them for now, but that's really good. We're doing killer on symbiotes in this. I'm glad we ended up making this a Venom vlog episode for sure. Because I was sitting there thinking, oh man, if we just pull all the Moon Knight cards that Blue wants, then we're going to have to re-edit a new intro and make it a Seek a Night episode. But nope, no re-editing, no refilming, no reshoots. We got this. All right, so pack number eight. We're halfway through the box now after this pack. We got Exodus. We got Omen. Back card is Doyle Dormammu. <laughs> all right. The son of Dormammu. We got Doyle in there. Doyle rules. I know it's O'Doyle, but come on. The joke's there. Um, all right, we have... Boom! Look at this! A number one spot of Sins of Sinister. That is really cool. Um, you probably saw that other card already, but that's neat, though. This is an, I've seen these number one spots before. That'd be cool to pull a Moon Knight of that, too, but that's cool. I don't know if this is, you know, how rare these are or whatever, but that's a cool shot of Sinister. I'm really like that character, Mr. Sinister. So, uh, yeah, let's put him. We'll sleeve him at least. And then our hit was a green parallel of Firestar. So she is numbered at a 499, and this is card number 314. It's kind of hard to read some of those numbers sometimes, but, yeah, she's card 314 at a uh, 499. So we're going to sleeve and top load her. And if anybody out there collects Spider-Man and his amazing friends... You got to have this card if you want it. Uh, this is technically a Spidey character if you're a fan of those old cartoon episodes. All right, eight packs left. Let's do this. Hopefully, we'll try to gain some speed. And like I said, I think one of my lights is starting to go out, so we're going to try to get through this now. Um, all right, so we have the dead. That's cool. Creepy looking, but very cool. Then we got the back card, Professor X. All right, looking good. Another base card back there, Hex Finder. Okay, not too familiar with that character, actually, but awesome. So then we have another... Oh, I thought it was a Symbio card, but dude, got a surprise. We got Captain America Cold War, a number one spot. That's a great shot, too, of Sam and Steve. That's really cool. So again, anyone out there collecting Captain America Cold War, hit us up. I'll tuck this aside with the other one. And then, dude, Black Panther. Look at that artwork. 
with the face, like the claw marks on the face kind of thing, the paint, that is really wicked. And he's a tier one also, Black Panther. That is really cool. Love the character. We've gotten some, the canvas cards, we got some cool characters on those for sure. And I love that there's 16 packs. There's so much to go through. <laughs> it's awesome. There's so much. Um, all right, so. Yes, yes. All right, we got a, a character that we don't always search for uh, these days, you know, but still close to our hearts, which is the Ghost Riders. I think there's a Danny Ketch in this set too, but to get Johnny Blaze start us off, that is awesome and epic. So glad to get him. Very cool. Hey, and Madeline Pryor, that's a cool one. That's a Greg Land artwork, I think, uh, which, yeah, I get 50-50 on him, but it's still, it's a cool shot, cool pose. She looks menacing. Um, yeah, very awesome. All right, who's back here? We got Queen Cat. Cool. And, oh, we got another green parallel. Sweet. So who's the one before? We got the Silver Sparkle of Eve Warlock. All right. And let's see what our green hit is. It's another out of 499. Boom. Oh, no way. The Maker. Look at the color match. He's kind of in that green skin, or like he's lit by green light, I think, in the comic, I think, in this one. Um, but that's so great. Number 487 out of 499. So almost an Omega. That'd be great to get him as like an either an Alpha or an Omega. Um, that's cool. So yeah, very neat. Doing good on the parallels, I feel, with the green ones for sure. That's uh, three cool characters we got today. So all right. Next pack. Oh, a little piece of paper in there. That's weird. All right. We'll just ignore that. And let's hit that vision. Look at that. Vision. Boom. Oh, there's something behind it. Okay, great. So let's go to the base cards. Viv Vision. Dude, we're getting the whole family. Is there a Scarlet Witch in this pack? That'd be awesome. Um, Viv Vision. And then regular Vision. Taguki, maybe? I don't know. I don't know who this guy is, but he's cool looking. He's got the laser eyes, but it's like white energy. I've seen Superman do that a few times. It's always cool looking in the comics when it goes pure white. Uh, all right, so that's neat, though. Neat character looking. I'll have to learn more about him. Um, we have another Captain America Cold War. This time we have Gavrilo Princip. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, there was a, that event, that Cold War event. Uh, I actually didn't get to read it, so... I have to um, check that out. Whenever it goes on sale on Comixology or in, you know, Kindle Comics, I'll have to check it out. Um, but behind us, we have another canvas. So let's see who it is. What? What? Dude. Venom Tier 1 canvas. That is awesome. Wow, there's some good hits in these boxes, man. This is a good box. I got to top load this one, though. This is another symbiote, and we're going to do a recap of all the hits and symbiotes we get at the end of this episode, for sure. So that is really cool. I'll put him aside. And we are on pack 12 now. So after this, we only have four more packs. So, come on. There's, I think for Moon Knight characters, there's Tigra, Hunter's Moon, and Moon Knight are the main characters that Blue's looking for. If we can hit one of those, at least one of them for him, that would be great. But we're cleaning house on symbiotes right now, so I'm very happy about that too. And speaking of that Vision family, we got our Scarlet Witch finally. So right there, the very next pack. There you go. Lord Inu. That's a creepy looking shot of Lord Inu. That's interesting. Back shot there. Hey, dude, look at that. Tigra. That's absolutely a character we need for Blue. Little smudge on it no it's good okay cool so i'm gonna definitely put her in a sleeve and then we'll top load it later i'll keep her with the other cards though that are top loaded um that is cool all right and then we have another green parallel after this so boom we have our sins of sinister card dr stasis very neat shot there and what, what is there anything different about these no okay I'm just making sure. And our green parallel of Vox Ignis. Uh, kind of like an evil banshee uh, looking character. That's cool. Vox Ignis. Uh, something created by Mr. Sinister, if you've read that storyline. So this is card number 459 out of 499. So again, I'm going to top load this and keep it safe in case anyone out there is collecting all the green parallels of or any of these characters you're looking for. Let us know. Never hurts to have more numbered cards, for sure. All right, last four packs. Let's not keep 
you know, null and the symbiote gods waiting. Let's dive right in and hopefully pull another symbiote before we end the episode. All right, Mother Righteous. Creepy looking. And we have the Hulk. That's great artwork, actually. Very cool on that Hulk. Sweet. And then another base card. Hey, there! Symbiote right there. Widow. And I believe this is her first card with her new symbiote. So that is great. I am definitely going to top load that. Um, or at least sleeve it. I'll sleeve it for now. And I'll put her over there with the top loaded stuff. But yeah, that's cool. I was just hoping for another symbiote and we got one. And it's a first. That's her first card. Um, so then we got another Sins of Sinister. We got a lot of these Sins of Sinisters in this box. I think we got like five maybe. Um, maybe maybe even six. I don't know. But there's a couple in there. But this is Exodus. Cool character, by the way. First appeared in the 90s. Um, really interesting character. I like him. And then our canvas. Yes! No way! Yes! Oh, dude, blue. Dude, I look at that, man. We got you a canvas of Moon Knight. We got Moon Knight and Tigra for you. And he is a variant tier one. We are going to sleeve and top load this. Dude, I am so happy. Look at that artwork, too. I think this is... Is that Phil Noto? I feel like... Um, so Phil Noto did some covers for a... Uh, a Moon Knight miniseries. And uh, and I think the Scarlet Scarab art and this art might be pulled from those variant covers that Phil Noto did. I think. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I feel like that's a... I can't, you know, without seeing it in color and stuff, it's hard to really tell. But I feel like it's a Phil Noto uh, artwork. And um, we love Phil. We absolutely love Phil's artwork. And those covers he did with Scarlet Scarab on all those variants of uh, City of the Dead, I think it was called, were epic. We got all the variants that Phil did. Um, all right. Hey, Wilson Fist, the Kingpin, make sure March of next year, you have Disney plus so you can check out the new daredevil season born again. We are very excited for that show. A hundred percent. Uh, Hey, emissary. Okay, cool. Kind of a deep dig there, but neat character. Um, and then we have another base card, Sam Wilson. Awesome. Captain America himself. New movie coming out next year. Check it out. Watch uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> All these plugs, yeah. Um, I like that. I thought that was a good show, though. There's, I had some criticisms of certain stuff, but overall, I, I did like the show. And I love Eli Bradley and that whole story, so I'm glad they factored that in, and that's going to continue in the, the new movie. Um, we got another Captain America Cold War. Misty Knight, great character. Uh, very cool character. And behind it, we have... Ooh, another Misty... Whoa! Out of 23! What is that? Misty Knight Hologram. Dude, that she's a great character, by the way. If you haven't read a lot of uh, stories with her in it, um, she's great. Uh, like They've done some really cool things with her over the years. She did play a small part in some of the, uh, the Donny Cates uh, Venom run, too. She had some cool moments in there with Ravencroft and, uh, and some of the other things uh, that tied into like Carnage and stuff and like a government agency hunting him down. Really cool. Um, and then she also later got pulled into the Beyond story with Ben Riley. So they've done cool things with her consistently. I've always really liked her and the uh, Daughters of the Dragon storylines that I've seen with her and some of the other female characters in Marvel. Like, really cool stuff. So Misty Knight out of... That's crazy. Only 23 of these. Wow. Okay. Any Misty Knight fans out there? Hit us up if you're looking for that numbered hologram there. Um, that is a cool one. Very cool. That could... I don't know... How often you get one of those? Are those one a box or one a case? Or one, a, you know, two or three a case? Let me know in the comments. All right, we got Wong in the back, but here we got Talia Warroad. She's uh, one of the uh, characters that has been during the um, Benjamin Percy Ghost Rider run, which I'll be honest, that run lost our interest big time. We are hardcore Ghost Rider fans. We had that entire collection that we sold off um, and really just haven't really liked a lot of Ben stuff. We did in the beginning, and then it just completely fell off. But we thought at the beginning what he did with Talia was cool. Just feel like it didn't really go too many places that we liked. So um, Wong, look at that artwork. Is that Alex Ross? That could be an Alex Ross Doctor Strange cover or whoever it is is on that level. Um, it's really good. It looks painted. That's cool though. All right. So we got Wong. Great. Another great character. Great card. And let's see. Oh, we got a Mystique base card with uh, one of those evil spider... Uh, Nightcrawler Spider-Man's behind her. That's cool that they got him. They got him into the artwork too. That's cool. 
I wonder if that's the first card he's on. Probably not. Um, all right, so we got a symbiote card here, and we got a silver sparkle. So let's see what the symbiote card is. Boom! <gasps> Whoa, dude, that's that's Eddie Brock Spider-Man. That is Eddie Brock Spider-Man right there. That is cool. This was a another universe where Peter Parker, uh, the black suit gave Peter Parker power, but Peter gave it... Um, gave it his sense of responsibility when Peter died, the symbiote carried his moral compass to its new host, Eddie Brock. So in this universe, Eddie wasn't like a total sleazeball and he became a hero as the new black costume Spider-Man. Um, that's really cool. That's a good one to get because that's the summer symbiotes. A lot of them are from the, uh, the Venomverse comic books with the one that came out not too long ago. And as you can see, my silver sparkle right there in the dark, uh, down in the corner, um, in the dark, uh, there is Psylocke that we got. Very cool. Any Psylocke collectors out there that need a silver sparkle, hit us up. All right. And we'll at least leave her for now. We're running low on a couple things, so I got to be, you know, very choosy with this last pack, just in case we get something in this last pack. Um, so let's hope for some magic. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. The last card is, uh, oh, we got Hope Summers. Very cool. Excellent card. Excellent character. And we got City Smith. Creepy looking. Don't know too much about that character, but really creepy. Oh, we got something big back there. Maybe two things. Dude, another symbiote. I was not, ex I was like hoping for another symbiote, but I was like, I don't want to be greedy. We just got that venom from the summer symbiotes, but to get Red Goblin, I really like what they did with this character in that uh, mini series they did, or that it was like a 10 issue series for Red Goblin. I think they rocked it. They did a really good job. Um, all right, we got, what is this? Okay. Captain Britain in the number one spot. I'm going to put that symbiote over there. And our last card looks like it has a web on it. So I don't know what this is, but that would be epic to end. This box with also a symbiote card. So without further ado, let's hope for some magic. Oh, it is a web, but it's a dark web. Jean Grey, Evie, hit us up if you're looking for this. Um, this is a numbered 60 out of 299. I don't know if you have one of these. It's like, it's like a turquoise or a blue variant of the web. Again, we're trying to collect dark web inserts maybe but only base ones we don't really care about having numbered ones so if we can make a trade or you know sell one to somebody who you know would give it a good home we're down for that so i'm glad i saved this last sleeve it looks like and this top loader for this card because our friend evie she is a jean gray fanatic and collector so we'll try to we'll keep this very safe for you evie hit us up if you are interested in it um so let's just do a quick recap we got the Jean Grey out of $2.99, which is awesome. We got the Maker as a sticker, also very cool. We got some Silver Sparkles. We got some Suspended Animations. We got Symbiotes. That's what we were after. We got a Hologram. I mean, this is good. Dude, the Moon Knight Canvas is epic. That is epic that we got that. Uh, symbiotes here, Green Parallels, Tiger, I'll put her with Moon Knight, Canvas of Venom, Dude, Venom and Moon Knight, and this, no matter what, if we chose this as a Seek at Night episode or a Venom vlog, it was a win either way. But yeah, this is so cool. We got Green Maker. We got some Sinister stuff, some more Symbiotes. Green Venom, if anyone's looking for a numbered Venom card. We got Misery. We got Hallow's Eve in the Dark Web. And we got the Priest of Venom Noir. Plus, we got all these great cards, some of them base cards, some of them the Sins of Sinister or the Captain Britain, the annual number one spot cards. We got some, uh, you know, Captain America Cold War stuff in there, too, and another green of Firestar. I should have put that over here. So we got those and then some of the ones I pulled aside in case people are interested, like Psylocke and then more of the Captain Americas, Bucky Barnes, Storm, Canvas of Idol, and our base Hallow's Eve. She's going to go here. So really awesome. Definitely feel like a $90 value is here. Probably can sell a couple of these cards and make that money back and possibly use that to buy us another box. That's at least the plan for right now. But until then, until we get another hobby box, we got some blasters on the way. So between Blue and I, we'll try to share those with you guys very soon. Let me know what you think down below. But for a Venom vlog episode, I'm so glad we did this. We got some great symbiotes and some other great characters we collect, and I'm very happy. Thanks for watching. See you in the future. Peace.